expected. Uh, however, it's a decision that the jury made. Some of the first words from Claudia Brown's attorney, David Fernandez, moments following her removal from the bench. A petition was filed against Judge Brown by lawyer Brett Pritchard, citing in part an unconstitutional $4 billion bail set in February of 2017. Once that was forwarded to my office, there was other instances that we began to investigate and that we looked at and finally culminated in 17 different allegations of either misconduct or incompetency. We had a very difficult case. Uh, there were 17 questions, I believe. A answer of true to one would have led to the same result. The jury found Judge Brown was reckless and showed incompetence on 16 of the 17 allegations leveled against her, except where she set a bond of $15,000 for a 17-year-old kid charged with possession of marijuana. I took no pleasure in us having to have all this done out in public. Uh, She's a wonderful person. I admire her accomplishments. It just happens that this was probably not the best fit. Does she plan to file an appeal in this case? She hasn't made that decision yet. Her immediate uh, goal is to go to her office and remove all of her personal effects. Uh, she respects uh, the judiciary. She respects the jury. And uh, that's what she's going to do for now. At the end, Judge Aples probably said it best to a woman who just wanted to make a difference. Everybody thinks the world of you. You're a credit to this community. Everybody really thinks a lot of you. But the statement of jury says we need to abide by their verdict. Now, Chris and Leslie, I did reach out to Claudia Brown for comment, and we did hear back from her. She said she's doing great, and she says uh, she is working on collecting her things for the next chapter of her life.